All right, guys. Oh, my stomach is doing weird things right now at the weirdest time. As soon as I hit record, I don't know. My stomach was just, it was just twitching. But I found a video of Brandon Buckingham, same dude that went to Kensington. He he got to pass the old block. I don't know how he did it. Bro got connections. He was in Hawaii with the Bloods. He was in freaking Kensington with the addicts. And now he's in old block with phone up, I believe. Now they make it seem like we just so bad, so dangerous. They make it seem like we monsters. We just like normal people. We just be chilling, really. Look, for them over there laughing around, playing. The segregated White City Amusement Park was built in 1905 on 14 acres of land okay. in the heart of what is in modern days called O Block. Y'all shooting things up. Y'all shooting up the block the tower down. That can be the block, seen for the 14 miles. That's what's directions. making it dangerous. After a simulation in 1946, it. the area would once it. again become famous, this time for much more sinister reasons. In 1955, America's first cooperatively owned African American housing development opened on the land where the once segregated White City Amusement Bro Park stood. The, the low income apartment when complex he's called Parkway Gardens would house more than 20,000 residents. And throughout us the nearly five right decades, the most synopsis. noteworthy thing about the area was that Michelle Obama once resided there. That is until the 2000s when getting violence between the gangster disciples and the black disciples reached a tipping point. These rival sets hate each other and only live one block away. Parkway Gardens, formerly known as Wick City, gets its current name O Block from deceased BD member Odie Perry, who was shot and killed at only 20 years of age by 17-year-old GD member KI. And as of 2022, there have been 36 confirmed murders between O Block and STL EBT alone. Right like now, he's riding on a what on the heck? situation. Very few people venture into Parkway Teach Gardens the themselves to speak to the he's residents the and find Brandon. out what life is really like inside O Block. I'm with some niggas that go pull up, let it spray. With some niggas that go hop up out that car, bro, I date. Well, you better run, cut them short and hop. And what? One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Are you guys you hear that? Oblock, hopping out and hitting ninjas in their faces like right here in the community and we're Parkway making Gardens. it seem dangerous come on man named Gina. make it make sense jesus we're gonna sit down with him and ask him some questions about what life was like growing up right here at parkway gardens what's up bro how you doing they ain't recording so security guards just always are going crazy out here. <laughs> so what you been up to? I've been chilling, man. I told you about some other stuff I've been going on, but... In the last episode, I pulled up to Oblock to do some sus rapping when g -Nuck, a rapper from the area, said this. We just lost g -Nuck. Of my close friends last night. Right, well, not last night, yesterday. We lost who? One of my close friends yesterday. Cap His friend died Apparently, yesterday. Apparently, the night before we came to Oblock, resident and up and coming well, hip hop artist like Tuha was shot and murdered so, only seven blocks away from Parkway yesterday. Gardens. Right now, we're in a staircase in the middle of Oblock. Who am I here with? G Nut or Trump. How long you lived here for? Been like 2004, my whole life. You got 18 years in this hoe. For sure. What is it like growing up in Oblock? Shit, you go see a little bit of everything. Like, you just gotta eat a prosties, uh, survive, or. Don't they got prizes in O Block? It's like a fast life out here, isn't it? They know. I bet they do. It's like seeing all the talent come through the area. In 2004, you said you've been like here. Like unofficial so prizes, though. Right? Block talent, like. Everybody little thoughts down the road, throw them a little 20. Good with they like. like they going to do like something. For everybody, for sure. But don't call them a prize. Everybody knows something that can make them a career. Like, it be some engineers, beat makers, all type of shit. People don't even know. A lot of artists out here. For sure. What are some of the pros are living in Oblock? Yo, bro shit. looks like, um... Farm area. There's not shit to do. There's no malls. You know what I'm saying? There's see, nah, you always gonna have something to do right here. You, it don't matter what it is, you're gonna have something to do. Because it's like, it's a lot of motherfuckers over here. you gonna be tweaking. It's gonna be fun, gang. Like, that shit fun to say. Like a little arcade or something. You got all your friends. Everyone's rapping. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no friends. We all family over here. We all brothers. Like people in O Block like stay clicked up. Why are you stay, playing like, a little Sarah McLaughlin music in the background? That's, that's like, what we is. That's what we stand bro, a lot of soul. You feel like gun violence isn't a problem here in O Block? For me being around, like I don't think it's really no problem. It's just like oh yeah, people, he's, like, they make they make stuff. He's a part of the problem. They want us to be monsters. Yeah, they say it's the most dangerous block in America. No one will even step foot in this area if you're not from here. You right here. You feel like there's a big misconception His about His friend violence, just no died for yesterday, sure. but gun yeah. violence isn't it's just a problem. The outside looking in. It'd be the people it's that just the never outside been over looking in. Saying how dangerous it is. Imagine that. On July 4th, two months after filming this episode, G Nuck was shot right outside of O Block with four what? other people, including the rapper Boss Top. Thankfully, all five people survived the incident, most of which still reside inside O Block. He got shot the other day. I thought it would be a good idea to bring a blunt to smoke with, with him, but up. I found out immediately that Dutch's are That's not crazy. desired blunt what inside is of O Block. I brought a, uh, a blunt we could face too. 
Nah, yeah, I don't smoke Dutchess. Oh, uh, you don't smoke Dutchess? Yeah, yeah, I get that. We cool. Yeah. I brought the blunt. We gotta, I gotta smoke the blunt with somebody in, in O Block. Smoke it with them. Hey, Brandy, y'all gonna wanna talk to him when y'all see who he is for real. Google him. He don't smoke <laughs> Dutchess. I didn't come correct. Man, I don't smoke Dutchess. I never though. smoke Dutchess. Sorry. Damn. Y'all can't smoke with my boy real quick. You smoke your own boy right quick. I'm Ellie right now. <laughs> I didn't know that Dutchess were like that. They're frowned upon so hard in Obot. <laughs> smoke a Dutch. Wanna smoke a Dutch with me? You don't fuck with Dutchess either? Nah. Damn. I didn't realize I was coming so incorrect. We put 3.5 in the wood. Tell him. Oh, fuck that. So you don't want to face this with me? Oh, say so they don't want to smoke a Dutch. They just want the wood. Nah, we don't need smoke Dutchess right here. You gotta, you gotta smoke that. <laughs> Can't even smoke the Dutch. In I feel the like area. it's an inside joke. What's what, the joke? Do you smoke Dutchess? Hell no. Nah. God damn. Woods only. Woods yeah. only. Well, how long have you lived in Oblock for? Ten years. What's it like growing up here? It's a lot. See what I'm saying? I can't explain that, but it's a lot. What's the best part about it? Shit, everybody know each other. What's the worst part? It ain't no worst. Part. Everybody know yeah. each other. Everything good. Yeah. That's a cartoon what character. What's the future of Oblock? What's gonna What's gonna happen to the community the next five years? They probably made this motherfucker better. What is it like growing up here? It's really make this good. Make this motherfucker. When you get like you, people know you, but motherfuckers don't know you. They step across you, but when they got you, they got you. But I've been here since, you know, my whole life, so. They made a bomb. How old is I he? Made a bomb with them. I got them. They got me. You look like 18. Like I'm guessing decent, 18. But it's like, like you just gotta like He's watch like out. He's you like know? 14. I'm slipping, right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Something like that. I ain't gonna lie. You guys feel like all the violence shit is overhyped in the media? Yeah, overhyped for real. Yeah. But having all that violence shit is fun to say. Yeah, it so it's not nearly as bad as it is in real life. It's fine. They shoot every day they shoot like once a month. Shoot every day. I don't shoot every day. I mean, for you guys, you guys are all in your in your teenage years, right? Is it, is it scary and shit when shit starts firing? Like having a duck and stuff? Or you're just used to it? Yeah, used to that shit. Yesterday, we was playing basketball. We continue playing. Another day, nothing nothing new? Yeah, nothing new. So you all be in the middle of, of hooping, and then you hear shots, just pause for a second and keep playing? Yeah. Okay, now, who am I here with? One of yeah. IQ, man, voice of the O. You're up and coming rapper, right? For sure. Yeah, what's that been like? It's been decent for real. I've been on some... You know, trying, I've been really building my own shit on some different shit though, like on a whole nother level. I feel like I've seen How dude in something in on like an Instagram uh, live or something. In 2005, I, I was Maybe one years I'm old tripping. when I moved, so and I'm finna be 18, so yeah. So. What was it like growing up in Oblock? I like, I like it. I ain't gonna lie. It seems like you guys have a really strong community, right? Yeah, we, yeah, our community, we tight in our community. Everybody outside hanging out. If you look right there, it's like a block party going on pretty much, Sega. It's some of the best parts of growing Maybe up Maybe pick up some of the trash a little bit. The best to me, if you ask me. I don't like seeing that. Dance, courts, the church, females, you know, motion. It's giveaways, big giveaways, you know, past, it's Pastor Curry Brooks, he get giveaways. Big bro, them give out giveaways, giving out shoes. Everybody just get back. It's a strong community out here. Yeah. Who are you guys' favorite rappers from Oblock? Like, come on, guys. I know there's a trash can around huh? somewhere. Favorite rapper from Oblock. Yeah. Bro, I be saying this and I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it over and over again until it hits and kicks. Just because we're poor doesn't mean we have to be dirty. We can put things in trash. What do you guys want to be when you grow up? Football player, NBA player, a rapper. So obviously I'm not affiliated in any way, but what is it like having your ops? Yeah, I don't like having a clean house or anything like that. Like this cleanness. What do you do about it? The ops our age, they 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 or it's dirty gangsta. Like, they know not to come around here. Yeah, Which one is it? Dirty gangsta? Uh, like phasing your young teens where you stop playing sports too much and you start getting. I want to be gangsta. You know, to make money and shit. I can't I take the dirt. Basketball, we still play not sports. Not too much. I do it. A lot of sports it. talent in the area. But like, yeah, I gotta take a shower. Right? You know what I mean? Raw at basketball, they just, they just don't want to do it. You guys uh, rap at all? Nah, yeah, I rap. All right. You want to kick me bars? You'll never catch me. When you me. get all oh, you can eat boneless man. wings and fries at Buffalo Wild come Wings, on, you create an infinite loop of boneless wings and fries with no beginning, no end. Just Benny Young, get back to back in juvenile. Parcel in my OG crib. Oh, crap, he's face. rapping. Yeah, I had a 40 on my she wishing it was just a face. And my cousin get shot by that window, she was hella gay. I was on some goofy shit back then, that was a different face. I'm up on my grind, can't waste no time, I'm to my paperweight. Yeah, what's some of the best parts of growing up in O Block for you? It's like 13. Last, like, Cause we were so young. Back in the days, what we were so hell? young seeing this shit, so it's like. We old now, so okay, look. we getting advanced. So we advanced off the shit that we learned from when we was little. Seeing Vaughn blow up, that was like one of the best parts to me. Seeing him come back to the block and bring that 100K and break it down with the team. Like, yeah. well, that wasn't the first 100K either. That wasn't the only 100K. You had that blue jacket on? Yeah, bro. That video's hard. Post a real inspiration to the hood. A lot, a lot of folks don't rap because of Vaughn shit. Folks yeah, came back yeah. doing this shit. I wouldn't be rapping if it went for fuck. With that said, what are some of the negatives of growing up on O Block? Some of the, the bad parts of that? Really, just, I don't, ain't no negative, because we decent everywhere. Yeah, we really decent all year round. Probably police negative. Yeah, they that's, be a, negative. that's a big negative right there. The police, other than that, 
internet. Like they, that shit, we just a circle. We the move police like, is a big like, negative. We move as one, so we straight around this bitch. That's a recurring theme. The internet and the police are the biggest problems with O-Block, people say. Sure. And that because, look, they be on the outside looking in. They don't really know how we how we connect we in this bitch. on the bitch. inside, really looking on the inside. Like, motherfuckers don't know what's going on. Like, the internet, they just be trolling. Do you see how y'all in here, y'all just chilling? Y'all can walk around in our hood with us like nothing happened? Motherfuckers oh. always looking on the outside thinking something gonna happen when it's really not that shit. This bitch, like, all stay. You in good hands. That's cat, bro. Oh, I saw shit. a video the other what day of, um, oh, yeah, that's a little it was like some bro. dudes that's from Philly like, went to Old Block or whatnot and mm -hmm. tried to do something yeah, there. And bro yeah, came out the freaking gate talking about something. Y'all wanna get robbed? Yeah, this, we gonna be I thought it was cool over here. We already big, so it's like this bitch gonna be, we gonna be worldwide. Bro, everybody rich, everybody get money, everybody mama straight. They he said, I taste some for fry, taste some shit. All straight. The block, we yeah. decent, we make living sure decent. Kids, kids, um, bro. Kids That's make sure the kids do. straight, everything. Um, bro, That's how we, try to we do. in some, we on some positive shit. Trying he to gonna take some old shit, y'all. Positivity, no negativity. That's the shit. But it's good. Old block 64, it's just us right? looking in the in, on like the inside. It's not really like that. What's it like having the ops live so close by? That shit ain't none of me. I'm chilling. That shit not nothing. Like. That shit fun though. Yeah, <laughs> bro, if you know, you know that shit fun. I was literally one block away, that shit funny as hell. Like, long as motherfuckers stay in their lane, I'm It's fun and lane. funny. Oh, they are hurting, bro. <laughs> bro. Don't judge a book by its cover. My so is she like it. a shooter? All right, look, for instance, motherfucker right Is she a known shooter? Block. They gonna look. What's they her name? See the buildings and look. They gonna be like, I ain't going in there. It's bad. Little Ike Dike. You, know, you come in this bitch, motherfucker, see how we connect and how we how we be all chilling. Can I say that on the hang? Ike Dike. That's go. Anything else you guys want to say to the fans out there? Just Mike be cool, Knight. be smooth. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Shout out to the Buckingham Show. Shout out to the Buckingham Show. Fuck all of You know how we get. Fuck Tuka who gonna do something to me, niggas. Know what the fuck going on? Fuck Tuka who gonna do something to me. I enjoyed my time filming inside O Block. People were welcoming. They were very nice to us. But okay. right as we were leaving, about 20 bullets whizzed right by us, so close that we could actually taste it in the air. Just gunshots just went off, bro. Like a bunch of gunshots in Oblong. We just left, got in the car. Oh man, that's. No, it's all good, bro. It's just the inside. Yeah, I just on the outside looking inside. That ain't gunshots. We just gotta go. That's the love shots. Oh, an ambulance. Damn, I can't Well, okay. I guess it's not just us looking look from the outside and inside. inside. It isn't really like that, y'all. Yeah. there in the early 2010s. We sat down and talked to Ocho Mana, a longtime resident of the area that was now leaving to go to a new state. So you're from Oblock, right? Yeah, born and raised. For sure. I've been, uh, I moved at Oblock when I was like, in 2001, when I was five. Been living there ever since. Type shit. I don't live that now. I moved out like probably when I was like, like 20. So I'm 24 now, so like a few years ago. What was it like growing up there? I'm, I'm, crazy I'm pretty shit. sure that's cool the guy that most part, like when I was he changed up, his life, shit. and then like they disowned him because he turned you know like Christian or something. Badass kids. Like he um, started talking about God and stuff. Um, we was just doing badass shit. They banished his like, ass to Atlanta. Instantly, like you feel me? You don't want to kill with phone them no more. Like being targets. It happens so fast you can't even do nothing but adapt to it. You know what I'm saying? So it just went from throwing rocks to them. No, now we gotta. Or he snitched or something like. That. I don't know. Shit crazy. Before like the gun violence and shit, um, I mean, did that come into the picture when you guys were like seventh, eighth grade, like 12, 13, yeah, or a little like, older? Yeah, when I, everything, but when I was in seventh though, eighth he got grade, out of the it was just all sports and shit. Like, motherfucker was dancing, just having fun, just doing like little, little kid shit. Like, you know, whatever you do as a little kid. By the time I got to high school, that's when shit was really starting to get real to the point where I was playing football. You know, me and LA Capone and shit, we was both playing football and shit. The window closed for us so fast because it's like we couldn't be focused on anything like school or sports because we got the streets so say if i gotta go to the football streets. practice and then the i gotta streets need football them. practice but it's just like it's shit going on in the streets you feel what i'm saying i got niggas that don't like me that i just because i'm from this you know and i grew up in this area you feel what i'm saying so it's just like you really sucked into that shit. We never signed the paper and said like, all right, I'm going to be O Block or shit. Like, you know, this was, we was here before this shit was O Block. You feel what I'm saying? We just a product of our environment. Don't move there, so, is what he's saying. You know, you if you move there, you're if, automatically if you in, in it. Area, you pretty much. Uh, ain't none of us have a choice for real. Like, you know, this just what it was. It was the cars, we was dope, you feel what I'm saying? Cause think about it. You could just be a shorty that just play football. Bro looks kind of nervous. Parkway, you feel what I'm saying? But if your Brandon friends is kind of nervous. Neighborhood and some motherfuckers trying to shoot at your homies, they shooting at you too. You feel what I'm saying? Just because you live there, you out there with them. They ain't going to say, all right, he a football player. Let's try to shoot at everybody around the football player. No, they shooting at everybody. So it's just like, you really 
guilty by association shit. If these are your homies, you with that shit. Ain't nobody trying to pick and choose who with it and who not, you know? You is what you is type shit. It's like, we ain't had no choice. You just don't have a choice. And if, and if somebody said they had a choice, it, it, would people, it would be people that were really not from the, who would just want to be something and just start hanging around and be like, I'm this. You feel what I'm saying? But before it was popular to be from the, or be O Block, you feel what I'm saying? It was like, it just was what it was. You feel what I'm saying? We just who we is. It's a cycle, right? Just revenge killing after revenge killing. Yeah. You young, you don't understand that yet. You feel me? You don't know what a generational cycle, I mean, generational curse cycle. You don't know nothing about that shit. You just thinking like, man, these niggas just killed my homie. You feel what I'm saying? My mama, she used to be calling me every time she heard a, a, any type of siren. I'm outside, she had ambulance, police, she called me. Call <laughs> me call I'm ambulance, Because it's like, it's that real. Motherfuckers really getting, you know, mm -hmm. really getting shot. Motherfuckers really getting hit up at a young age. That age shit don't, didn't mean shit. I seen one of my homies get killed, one of my big homies. First dead body at 13. I was 13 years old. I walked, like, right there, my homie got killed. I was just right there. I ain't had no choice but to look at that shit, like, you know? I should have fucked you up, bro. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Should you pick up milk? Do you see milk in the fridge? No. Then I didn't pick up the fucking milk. Wonderful. Thank you. Hi, I'm Annie. Hi, I'm Annie. You don't have cash. Let's go to the ATM. Well, we would go chill out in a private room. How do you process that? Yo. What? I'm recording a video. Uh, All right. Like, I like to take a poop. Shit, sure you don't. <laughs> it's just something that just goes over and over in your head, but it's just like, if my homies weren't getting killed back then, I wouldn't have never knew it was real. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, we would have just been saying, man, this shit's sweet. Well, fuck everybody. We owe everything. But motherfuckers, when motherfuckers get down close to you, like, man, what the fuck? Hold on. You got to sit back and look in the mirror like, oh, shit. Dude, this shit real. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's you know, real. Like, oh, yeah, it's not homies, funny and funny crying. anymore. Shit, this, shit ain't, this, shit ain't, this shit ain't no game now. You feel what I'm saying? This shit for real. Don't nobody want to die. And I, I'm mad a lot of that. I wish a lot of this shit wouldn't have happened, but it happened. You know, I can't take shit back. You feel me? We can't rewind shit. We just got to keep yeah, going Yeah, any one of them you, saying you that it's fun or funny, to be done to end, like, they the ain't lose no close the friends like he did. It's, it's just one of those things that's not going to stop until people are gone. And you know, I, I always had hope. At the end of the day, everybody got their own mind. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like I can have my group of people and I can, I can show people from my hood this way, you feel what I'm saying? But I can't make nobody do nothing, you feel what I'm saying? I can just show y'all that we can do it this way instead of that way, you feel what I'm saying? Y'all best better leave that shit alone because that shit ain't worth it, bro. There's been times ops didn't pull up on me and I'm with my grandma, you feel what I'm saying? I'm with my grandma. My grandma don't know shit about shit, you feel what I'm saying? That That's how real this shit can get. Don't know Granny don't know nothing you about know, it. motherfucker pull up on you with your grandma and your mama. You just better hope you can make it out that situation. You feel what I'm saying? Because your grandma don't know shit and she ain't doing nothing. Your mama don't know nothing and she ain't doing nothing. It's off your decision. So don't bring, you know, nobody that you love down with you off your decision, especially if you ain't got to make none of them decisions. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Thank you for watching this video. The extended cut, as always, is on Patreon. And I hope it gave you a better... Well, that's old block. Oh, King Von's hood. It says it on the, the screen right now, but yeah, anyone, any one of those people in there in a the video that was saying that this is fun or funny, they ain't never seen a friend get shot. They granny ain't never get pulled up on. Ain't no way. What's fun about that? Yeah, granny almost getting shot up. Come on, bro. Come on, man. It's not just us looking in. It's really like that. Y'all need to stop it. Go, go check out my last video, man. I gotta go use the bathroom.